Good evening, everyone, and thank you for being with us this evening. I am calling to order this regular council uh, meeting of Monday, September 12, 2022, to order. Uh, for the members of the community, please be advised that this meeting is being broadcasted and recorded by Hartford Public Access Television and can be viewed via Hartford Public Access TV Facebook page, Comcast Xfinity Channel 96, www.hpatv.org, or Channel 6032 for Frontier customers. Spanish interpretation is provided through a partnership with the City of Hartford and the Hartford Public Library. Additional accommodations can be made available with enough notice to the Office of the Council President. Once again, thank you for being here uh, with us this evening. Uh, Mr. Clerk, uh, could you please uh, call the roll? Yes. Uh, Councilman Clark. Here. Councilman Gale. I'm here in my office, but I would rather be at the council chambers, and I look forward to us going back to live council meetings at some point in the very near future, like maybe the next council meeting, I would hope. Councilwoman Hercules. Councilwoman Hercules. Present. Present. Councilman LeBron. <clears throat> I didn't hear Councilman Gale say, say present, but I'm present. Councilman Mishton. I'm present, and I agree with Councilman Gale. Councilman Rosado. Present. Councilwoman Rossetti. Present. Councilman Sanchez. Present. Councilwoman Surgeon. Here. You have a quorum, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. I also like to recognize uh, Mr. <clears throat> Eric Lusa. Uh, from the town clerk's office and our corporation council, uh, Howard Rifkin, and uh, hello to members of the Hartford Public Access uh, TV that make it possible for us to be virtual. And now our town clerk will lead us on to the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which, for which it stands one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. I would like to make the motion that we approve the minutes of the August 8th, 2022 City Council meeting and August 11th, 2022 special meeting. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions on the minutes? Any discussions, any comments? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilwoman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we suspend um, our agenda to add the supplemental items as follows. Uh, item 7.1, Public Works, Parks, Recreation, Environment Committee, communication discharging the resolution that was uh, originally submitted from Mayor Bronin on March 28th on our council agenda, authorizing and empower the city to grant uh, the Connecticut Nat Natural, ja sorry, Natural Gas Corporation which is discharged from the Public Works, Parks, Recreation, Environment Committee. Item seven, <clears throat> excuse me, 7.2, Planning, Economic Development, Housing Committee, Mayor Bronin with a company resolution authorizing the city of Hartford City to enter into a purchase and sales agreement with Gateway Partnership, LLC. Item 7.3, Planning, Economic Development, Housing Committee, Mayor Bronin with a company resolution authorizing the city to accept a $6,300,000 communities college, sorry, communities challenge grant from the Connecticut Department of Economic and Community Development from the Connecticut Communities Challenge Grant. Item 7.4, Mayor Bronin, sorry, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with a company resolution authorizing the city of Hartford to enter to a purchase and sales agreement along with a 10-year tax fixing agreement pursuant to Connecticut General Statute Section 12-65B with the National Development Council. Item 7.5, Mayor Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with accompanying resolution approving the recommendations of the Capital Region Council of Governments, CROG, Rapid 
routes, transit, priority corridor study. Item 7.6, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with accompanying resolution, affirming the appointment of Craig Mergens to the Hartford, Greater Hartford Flood Commission. Uh, item 7.7, .7, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with accompanying resolution confirming the appointment of Stanley Sebesky to the Greater Hartford Flood Commission. Second. A motion has been made and properly second. Are there any comments? Councilman Sanchez. Yes, I, I wasn't sure if I missed it, but it was 7.4 on the consent. This is just a supplemental this agenda. Just, we haven't. Yeah. Councilman, I was just adding um, the items. Okay. Agenda. Thank you. So to, I just, just for the record, Madam President, I uh, yeah. just want to make it clear that item 7.1 is to grant a uh, CNG an easement for the record. Thank you. Majority Clark. Uh, Councilman Mission, you had your hand up? No, that was it, the thing that the majority leader just said that the okay. easement part, I just wanted to add that. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, are there any other discussions? Any other comments? There be a none. Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Oh, yes. Sorry. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we place the following items on our consent calendar. And I read them as follows. Item seven, sorry, 3.7. Mayor Bronin with the company resolution authorizing the mayor to accept operating Hi. assistance grant funding in the amount of $134,500 from the Greater Harper Transit District cooperation of the city's dollar wide program. Item 3.10, Mayor Bruner with the company resolution authorizing the city's expenditure of $1,890,016 in local capital improvement program, LOSIP funds from the state of Connecticut's Office of Policy and Management. Item 3.14, three Mayor Bruner with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a $4,500 from the grant from the Department of Family, Children, Youth and Recreation, Unity, Hartford Unity Community Grant Review Panel from the Hartford Foundation for Public Giving. Item 4.1, Public Works, Parks, Recreation, and Environment Committee, Mayor Bruner with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Hyacinth Yenny to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission. Item 4.2, Public Works, Parks, Recreation, and Environment Committee, Mayor Bruner with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Janine McMahon to the Parks and Recreation Advisory Commission. Item 4.3, Health and Human Services Committee with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant of $60,000 in funding from the Heart and Hope Health, Heart and Hope, sorry, Heart and Home Health Program, HHP. Item 4.4, Health and Human Services Committee with a company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant of $35,000 in the Title 3D funding for the Keep On Living program. Item 4.5, Operations Management Budget and Government Accountability Committee with a company resolution authorizing the transfer of funds between departments, offices, and or agencies as necessary to implement the American Rescue Plan Act, ARPA. Item 5.1, Resolution committing uh, to uphold free and fair elections. Item 5.2, resolution calling on the Hartford Court of Common Council and the city departments to work in conjunction with each other to address the issue of food deserts in Hartford. Uh, item 5. Point, sorry, 7.3. Planning Economic Development Housing Committee Mayor Brunner with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a $6 million <coughs> in communities challenge grant from the Connecticut Department of Economic and Community Development, Connecticut Communities Challenge Grant Award. Uh, item 7.5, Planning Economic Development and Housing Committee with the company resolution 
also approving the recommendations of the Capital Region Council of Governments Rapid Routes Transit Priority Corridor Study, item 7.6, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Craig Mergens to the Greater Hartford Flood Commission, item 7.7, .7, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Stanley Sebesky to the Greater Hartford Flood Commission. And that concludes the, our items for the consent calendar. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any comments, any discussions? Uh, yes, Madam. Councilwoman Surgeon, you have the floor. Thank you. I, could I add my name to 5-1 and 5-2? Mr. Clerk? Got it. Thank you. Are there any other comments or discussions? Councilman Mitchum? Thank you, Council President. I just, there's just th um, two matters. I'm, I'm consenting, obviously, but I, I wanted just to say something about them. One is 4.5, which is OMBGA's, from OMBGA, authorizing the moving of funds. I didn't know what it was when I read it and I had to ask. It's basically, we already approved how our ARPA money this body approved the spending of ARPA money in various ways, but then now separately, we have to approve the moving of money for the spending of it, which if anyone's following along at home, it's kind of confusing. I was confused. So I thought I would just explain the explanation I got, which was useful. And I would add that during budget negotiations, I was, I was told that there was a plan to fund four housing inspectors with some of that ARPA money, because those are in big chunks that the mayor has a lot of control over. And now that seems to have disappeared. So I just want us to keep that in mind that although we approve them in broad strokes, there's a lot of discretion on the part of the administration. And we should be leaning on the administration to make our city better with that discretion. The other thing I wanted to say is that I appreciate very much the food deserts resolution, uh, but I also, we heard from so many folks during public comment talking about the decades that we've been hearing promises of let's get an operator and let's get a plot and let's do this and let's do that and what always has seemed to happen is that the operators look at the economics of it and they don't want to do it and many months ago i asked the director of development services to look into whether we should run a, go a grocery store our own selves and we could take the profit margin out of it and let the city run it it's a thing that other cities around the country that are food deserts have done some of them successfully I haven't heard anything back about that, but I'm hoping maybe the next thing we can do is actually direct him to give us a report or to commission a study, because I feel like we're going to be spinning our wheels like this about bringing in outside operators um, till we're all in the ground. But that's all. Thank you. Thank you, Councilman. Uh, Mr. Clerk, if you could add my name to resolution 5.2, please. Any other yes. comments? There be a none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilwoman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilwoman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we refer the following items to the mentioned committees. Uh, item 3.1 to the Operations Management Budget and Government Accountability Committee, which is Mayor Bronin with the company resolution. City of Harford's Department of Health and Human Services to receive funding and execute an MOU with Catholic Charities for the use of social solutions, Apricot 360 database. Item 3.3. To the Health and Human Services Committee, which is Mayor Bruner with the company resolution authorizing the city's Department of Health and Human Services to receive funding and execute contracts and contract amendments with the community renewal team. Item 3.8, also to the Health and Human Services Committee, uh, which is Mayor Bruner with the company resolution authorizing the city to receive grant funding from the state of Connecticut Department of Public Health. Item 3.13, also to the Health and Human Services Committee. Mayor Brunner with a company resolution authorizing the City of Hartford's Department of Health and Human Services to receive funding 
from and execute related contracts with the village for uh, families and children. Item 3.2 to the Planning, Economic Development and Housing Committee. Mayor Brunner with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Marianne Ando Clark to the Central Regional Tourism District. Item 5.3 also to the Planning, Economic Development and Housing Committee, which is a resolution calling uh, for Hartford, Hartford Court of Common Council to with the city departments identify ways to create and designated tractor trailer parking areas. Item 3.12 to the Planning, Economic Development and Housing Committee, which is Mayor Broner with the company resolution authorizing the purchase of the Church of the Sacred Heart at 24 Eli Street, which has a public hearing for September 19th, 2022 at 7 p.m. Item 3.4 to the Public Works Parks Recreation Environment Committee, we are brought up with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a grant from the state of Connecticut Department of Economic and Develop Community Development in the amount of $1 million to make capital and other improvements at Elizabeth Park. Item 3.5 to the Public Works Parks Recreation Environment Committee. Mayor Brunner with the company resolution authorizing the city to accept a $350,000 grant from the State Department of Energy Environmental Protection and to execute related documents for the purpose of making numerous capital improvements to the East Lawn of Hartford's Elizabeth Park. Item 3.6 to the Public Works Parks Recreation Environment Committee. Mayor Brunner with a company resolution authorizing the city to accept a $2 million grant from the State Department of Energy and Environmental Protection and to execute related documents for the purpose of constructing a new entrance to Goodwin Park, as well as nearby sidewalks and lighting on Maple Avenue. Item 3.9 to the Public Works Parks Recreation and Environment Committee. Mayor Brunner with the company resolution confirming the appointment of Maria Nunez to the Hartford Golf Course Oversight Commission. Item 3.11 to the Quality Life and Public Safety Committee. Mayor Brunner with the company resolution authorizing the city to ex execute an agreement with Eastern Communications Inc. to provide and install and maintain the citywide radio communication systems. And that concludes our referral items. Second. A motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Councilman LeBron. Yes, I would just like the record to reflect <clears throat> that uh, I'm with recusing myself for the item related to Catholic charities. Julie noted. Any other comments? Con Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes, Madam. Uh, I would like to add my name to 5.3. Got it. That, thank you. Uh, Majority Leader Clark. I thought I saw your hand up. Yes, Madam President, thank you through you. Um, I just want to make it clear uh, that uh, for item 3.2, the appointment of Marion Andel Clark to the Central Regional Tourism District, uh, we have no relations. Relations oh. with each other, okay? I thought about that, yes. That's not her last name. <laughs> thank <laughs> like, you. Like, there is no, re no <laughs> relations right there. Thank you. Uh, Mr. Clerk, for the record, could you also add my name to uh, 5.3? Yes. Thank you. There being no other discussions or comments, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark? Yes. Councilman Gale? Yes. Councilwoman Hercules? Yes. Councilman LeBron, with the yes. rescues for the capital charities? Yes. Councilman Mitchum? Yes. Councilman Rosado? Yes. Councilman Rossetti? Yes. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we postpone the following items. Item 3.15, Quality of Life and Public Safety Committee communication concerning resolution on facial recognition technology. Item 3.16, Public Works Parks Recreation Environment Committee, communication concerning authorizing and empower the city to accept a grant to Connecticut Natural Gas. I just have a question, sorry, um, because we are voting on, and I need clarification from Corporation Council, 
since we are voting on 7.1, do we take action on this item as well? Since uh, the, the chairwoman has uh, discharges from a committee? Uh, through you, Madam President, I think this, um, the action to add the item, the discharged item, item to the agenda makes moot uh, 3.16. So um, you can, I guess, postpone it. It's sort of, um, it's really superseded by, um, by your action adding that item to the agenda. So I would just leave it on postpone. Okay, thank you. Mr. And, and, and the clerk should note that this should not come back for the next, uh, for the next council meeting. Got it, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Corporation Council. Okay, uh, item 3.16, Public Works Park Recreation Environment Committee communications concerning authorization, authorizing and empower the city to grant the Connecticut natural gas easement Item 3.17, Operations Management Budget and Government Accountability Committee, communication concerning an ordinance amending Article 17 of Chapter 2 of the Municipal Code of Hartford. And item 3.18, Labor, Education, Workforce, and Youth Development Committee, communication concerning Corporation Council making a presentation to the Court of Common Council in a public meeting regarding the City of Hartford's contra contract negotiations with the Hartford Police Union. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any comments, any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark? Yes. Councilman Gale? Yes. Councilman Hercules? Yes. Councilman LeBron? Yes. Councilman Mitchum? Councilman Mitchum? Sorry, I was on mute. Yes. Councilman Rosado? Yes. Councilman Rosetti? Yes. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilman Surgeon? Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action on item 7.1, which is Public Works, Parks, Recreation, and Environment Committee, communication, discharge, and resolution authorizing and empower the city to grant an e, uh, to grant Connecticut Natural Gas grant sorry to grant Connecticut Natural Gas Corporation an easement, uh, which is an original resolution from Mayor Bronin's um, resolution to the City Council on March twenty eighth. Second. A motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions, C Councilman Mitchum? Thank you, Madam President. Just briefly, th what this concerns is that the University of Hartford wants to build, I don't remember what it is, it's some kind of power station, substation thing that needs a, uh, a gauge of gas line that they can't get from the West Hartford side. It's for their benefit, for the University of Hartford's benefit. And so what it will, what we're giving to Connecticut Natural Gas is a right forever to maintain a gas pipeline that runs under the back of the, the parking lot at Weaver High School, across the wetlands there by the railroad tracks and over to UHART. And this is basically a real estate transaction. People get easements all the time, right? They, they, they pay for easements so that they can cross somebody's property or you know run gas or anything they need to run into their property. They pay for these things like you pay for anything in real estate. And for some reason, we're just giving it away. And that's why I'm voting no on this because we're in a position where CNG has told us we can't get the, the gauge of gas line we need from the West Hartford side. In other words, we, we have them in a spot. We have a thing that they need. That's business. We should be getting money or benefit from them. And I've heard my colleagues only say that, well, UHART is beneficial, broadly speaking to the region and they host University High School. That deal was worked out a long time ago. I don't think we have to be beholden to UHART forever. And we certainly don't have to be beholden to CNG. Uh, I think we could do this like business people and get something out of it. Councilwoman Rossetti. Thank you, Council President. Um, 
to Councilman Mitchum's comments, and I understand them because I was probably of the same vein at the beginning of this conversation. When we started this uh, many meetings ago, and subsequently, which Councilman Mitchum was not in attendance, we had two more meetings, and I believe the community also had a meeting on their own, and we organized a meeting for the community. We addressed many of those issues. We also learned that uh, the, and I think Councilman Sanchez can speak to this, the length of which the it will be a uh, fuel cell, the length of which the uh, pipe will be, what the easement will be. I can't spew it all back word for word, uh, that they will be hosting and providing um, um, a collaboration with uh, Weaver High School, the University of Hartford on fuel cells, many, many items that came up in subsequent meetings. So I understand that there was in many of us these concerns in the beginning, but after subsequent meetings, subsequent discussions, information shared in both ways, I feel confident in voting yes in what we finally came to with everyone at the table. So thank you, Council President. Thank you, Councilwoman. Councilman Gale. Yeah, thank you, Madam President. Uh, just uh, to add to uh, what Councilwoman Rossetti has just said, um, and for clarification, this gas pipeline is to feed a fuel cell, which is green energy. And so I think it's really not just for the University of Hartford's benefit, it's for all of our benefits to the extent that we all need everybody to be moving to cleaner forms of uh, energy. Um, I would also note that um, I did attend not all of those meetings that Councilwoman Rossetti mentioned, but several of them and uh, have come to understand this is a relatively benign uh, uh, easement. It's not going to interfere with much property. It's uh, at the end of their cul-de-sac at Weaver High. It's not going anywhere near their playing fields at the school uh, itself um, and um, Lastly, I would just mention that should we require a payment from CNG, it likely would have just simply been passed on to the University of Hartford. Um, and uh, I do think that the University of Hartford has been a good partner with the city of Hartford over the years. And I think I share the administration's view that it's um, a reasonable thing for us to accommodate uh, the university in this regard. Thank you. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Um, just to piggyback off of uh, Councilwoman Rossetti and also uh, to Councilman Mictum, I think there's a spirit that ties all of this together. There's the business side, there's the community partner side. The other thing I want to acknowledge is the community engagement side. I think from my efforts, um, that's what was most uh, concerning and pressing for me. Uh, as we began to speak on the language of fuel cells and green energy and all of the technical stuff, I became more and more aware of how much I didn't know. And they might as well have been speaking Chinese because it got to a point where, you know, the electrical grids and all this other stuff, like, you know, was be beyond me. And I think it's important to state that. But what wasn't was the, um, the, the community involvement and the community recognition and the community transparency and for the community to make their presence felt. I think throughout the process um, that happened. And I think as the iterations came forward, meeting after meeting, you started to see that partnership happen. What I will say also is that um, as a result of all of the efforts um, going back to the meetings is that there is a tentative community partnership that not only acknowledges what Councilwoman Rossetti has stated, but other potential future partnerships um, with the school itself and that uh, the P I spoke with the PTO president herself, which she was on the public comment earlier. So the other thing I just wanna be mindful of as well, when we talk about University of Hartford and their uh, partnerships, they also provide half off scholarships year after year, at least for the last two decades that I'm aware of, to city of Hartford scholars. So I know we could quantify that in, times of a, in terms of a cost, but what we never will be able to quantify is the knowledge gained that is limitless. 
And so uh, because of that uh, and the partnership and also all the efforts made, I'll be voting uh, yes on this item. Councilman Sanchez, Councilman uh, Mr. Maldet, back to you on at the end. Councilman uh, Sanchez. Thank you, through you, Madam Chair. Um, it, I agree with everything that's been shared here. And yes, I do concur with uh, Councilwoman Rossetti. Um, one of the things I, I just want to state is that CNG experienced a very rude awakening, an awakening that was very necessary. Um, I believe now they realize the importance of the magnitude of community engagement, as well as outreach and educating the neighborhood that they're about to affect. And not only that, also coming back and restoring the neighborhood to its original if or, or better condition than they left it at. And this is a big issue throughout the city of Hartford. And I just hope that AT&T, uh, Comcast, Eversource has been following what's been going on, where CNG failed to communicate with the community and do their outreach so that they understand what we're expecting of them and they need to respect us. Uh, so in our community, thank you. Councilwoman Surgeon, did you have your hand up? Yes, Madam um, Council President. I just want to um, agree and echo everything that's been said by the previous council person, but more than anything else, I want to recognize uh, Councilman Rossetti. Uh, the, she went way above and beyond in partnershiping with the community. She had several meetings where the community uh, came in. She didn't have to, but she did. So I just wanted to thank her very much for working with the community and getting them educated. And so this is certainly shows the partnership if we as council people work with the community and educate them for this positive um, issue that, in, that they were, they're gonna enjoy. Yes, and I have to. I'll have to echo everyone's uh, comments, especially uh, Councilwoman Surgeons in in uh, the great job that you did, Assistant Majority Leader Rossetti, uh, with the community. I know I attend. I attended one of the meetings, and I believe it. Correct me if I'm wrong. It wasn't your meeting, but you were running the meeting, um, and you did an awesome job bringing the community together. And you know, the University of Hartford is such a great partner uh, with the City of Hartford, and like Councilman uh, Nick LeBron said, they do offer you know half of on um, um, scholarships too. Um, the residents of the city of Hartford. So I will be voting yes um, on this resolution. Councilwoman Hercules. Thank you. Can, can you hear me? Yes, very low, but we can hear you. Mm -hmm. Okay, sorry. These, these headphones aren't always the best. Um, just, I guess, certainly um, commend uh, Councilwoman Rossetti for her efforts and being responsive to the questions and concerns that the community had, because certainly there were quite a few. I guess one of the things I'm, I'm curious about is whether or not, my understanding is that the Weaver um, PTO has not yet met regarding this issue. And also as a point of order that the CNG easement was postponed on the PWPRE committee in due back on the 14th. And so it would seem premature for us to vote on it prior to getting that both input from both of those bodies, um, the PTO at Weaver, as well as the PWPRE committee meeting. Council, Councilman Nixtum. Thank you, Madam President. I, I agree. I want to be clear. Like I, I was able to go to some of the meetings and not all of the meetings. Uh, and I didn't mean at all to suggest. I want to agree with Councilman Lebron that like, and, and Councilman Surgeon, like Councilman Rossetti, like brought people in. And when this first came in, I think the committee rightly reacted like, you know, what's going on here? It felt like, you know, we got this map that someone like drew a little dotted line on. Um, so I, it's, I didn't mean to criticize the process, but I do want to ask through you, Council President, to Councilman Rossetti, the, the, the program, the coming program that Councilman Rossetti alluded to, and I think Councilman Lebron also spoke about in terms of like working with Weaver and, and the further benefits in the future, do we have it in writing as a commitment in exchange for the easement? How like how do we know what what do we have to know that that's 
a council guarantee. president through you. Yes. Um, the commitment was made on, on, and again, this was the community's meeting that we put together. And yes, there were to be follow-up meetings, which they were put together. If they did not put them together, I, you know, that is kind of past past us, but we did organize one community meeting um, and their commitment was to Blue Hill Civic. And certainly I can follow up with Blue Hill Civic to make sure that that happens. But the commitment was made publicly on television that they would, you know, on public access, that they would do these things. Um, can I reach out to uh, the chair of the, of the uh, you know, PTO? Certainly um, the um I believe it was Mr. Lovejoy from Blue Hill Civic. Uh, others, certainly I can help uh, facilitate that and continue to facilitate that, but the commitments were made publicly and I would like to think University of Hartford and their community relations person and CNG would stick by their commitments, but I can understand people's concerns. And if that's something people would like me to follow up with those residents, I'd be more than happy to. For the record, I think that uh, Councilwoman Rosetta, you have gone above and beyond um, when it comes to this matter and trying to be as transparent um, and communicative as possible. Are there any other uh, comments, Councilman Sanchez? Yes, real quick, uh, and to uh, Councilwoman uh, Rosetti's point, I believe the recording is just as good as a written statement. That Thank is correct, you. Councilman. Thank you, Councilwoman Rosetti, for everything that you've done for this. Councilman Mixtum? I would I would respectfully disagree and just remind my colleagues of when the busway was built and Flower Street was closed and there were many public statements about how I think it was DOT was going to build a pedestrian bridge so that Flower Street could continue to connect Farmington to Capitol and then well, you know there was no guarantee and now there's no pedestrian bridge and I don't want to say that necessarily CNG or UHART is um eager to go back on their public word but i i would i would move at this point that we postpone until we can have something in writing that makes clear that what they promised is written and it's an exchange for the easement is that a motion councilman mixtum it is madam president a motion to postpone for that reason i would second that motion motion has been made and properly second um, are there any comments on this motion? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. No. Councilman Gale. No. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. No. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. No. Councilman Rosetti. No. Councilman Sanchez. No. Councilman Surgeon. No. Motion failed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And now we're back to our original motion. If you could call the roll, please, Mr. Clerk. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. No. Councilman LeBron. Sorry, just got distracted by someone. Uh, we're back we to the original motion. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. No. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action on item 7.2, Planning Economic Development Housing Committee. Mary Brunner with the company resolution authorizing the city of Hartford to enter into a purchase and sales agreement with Gateway Partnership, LLC. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? Councilman Gale. You're on mute, Councilman Gale. Thank you, Madam President. Um, I'm not sure that the committee's report reflects it. Um, when I looked at it in the record, it didn't seem to have the actual text of the motion that came out of committee, but the motion it came out of committee sending this back with a favorable recommendation was conditioned upon two things. Uh, one is a favorable A24 review, which I understand will take place tomorrow. Uh, and two, uh, that the um, uh, term sheet 
that accompanies this uh, purchase and sale transaction be amended to include uh, what I'm going to call a clawback provision. That is a provision that provides that if the developer either uh, sells the property within 10 years or uh, cashes out uh, with a mortgage refinance and pulls money out of the project that the city of Hartford recoups uh, some of our taxes. And I, so I believe that the administration has agreed that that would be included. And so I would amend, I would move to amend what we're going to act upon tonight to add those two conditions that we amend, um, we, we pass this uh, purchase and sale conditioned upon those two items, the A24 review and the clawback provision being added to the term sheet. I second that. A motion has been made and properly seconded. Are, are there any other discussions or comments? Uh, Councilwoman Hercules. Thank you. I, I guess my only concern is that in committee, the it was favorable with these conditions. And now here we have this motion without those things having been in place. So I would worry about us voting for it contingent upon things that may not occur. It sounds like one of them at least is going to occur tomorrow, but um, I would feel more comfortable having those things taken place prior to voting on the motion because our understanding in committee was that that would have happened by today's vote. And it hasn't. Are there any other comments? Councilman Mixton. It's a question for Corporation Council. If we pass this amendment that Councilman Hale just, just um, moved and then we pass the underlying resolution and, other, and then the conditions of the amendment aren't met, is the resolutions void? Uh, through you, Council President, the, the amendment would change the resolution <laughs> and, and essentially require A, that the A24 uh, approval takes place and B, that the term sheet include a provision uh, that's described by Councilman Gale as a clawback. I don't know, so they become bound together. In other words, so assuming, if, so you, if we, assuming if we, you adopt this amendment and then subsequently the resolution as amended. So then if after we adopted that, let's say the A24 didn't come through somehow, then our resolution would be sort of meaningless, or right, in essence? Well, well, uh, then uh, we would not be able to enter into a purchase and sale agreement. Right, that's what I was getting at, thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions or comments? There be a none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. This is on the uh, amendment. amendment, yes. Yeah. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. As amended. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And now we're back uh, to the uh, original resolution. If you could call the roll, Mr. Clerk. Councilman Clark. Excuse yeah. me. Excuse me. Sorry. Council, Council President. Yes. So it, it, the, the, now it would be approval of the resolution as amended. As amended, correct. Thank you. Councilman Clark. As amended, yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we enter into executive session to discuss item 6.1, Mayor Bronin with the company resolution to discuss the potential settlement of a workers' compensation uh, matter. Councilman uh, Clark, did we have- oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. It's okay. 
It's a lot and going four. on. A lot going on back and forth. <laughs> I, I told you earlier, I'm ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, uh, I strike that because I'm, I'm looking at my notes. <laughs> Um, I would like to make the motion that we take action on item 7.4, uh, which is Planning Economic Development Housing Committee with a company resolution authorizing the city of Hartford to enter into a purchase and sales agreement along with a 10 year tax fixing agreement pursuant to Connecticut General Statute section 12-65B with the National Development Council, which this is a sales tax agreement with NDC and Albany uh, for the Albany Woodland Project. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Councilman Gale. Yeah, thank you, Madam President. Um, I, 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 I move to amend the uh, item uh, in this case to just add one condition and that is that um, uh, this item gets a favorable 824 review from the Planning and Zoning Commission and that that's therefore a condition of the project moving forward. I second that. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any comments or discussions? Councilman yes. Sanchez? Yes, through you, Madam President. So the 824 uh, for both items, uh, 7.2 and 7.4 is scheduled for tomorrow's meeting. And, and I'm, I'm looking for, forward to it uh, and passing favorably. Thank you, Councilman. Thank you. Mr. Clark, could you please call the roll on the amendment? Councilman Clark. Yes. yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, uh, Mr. Clerk. And so now we're gonna vote on the resolution as amended. If you could call the roll. Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rosetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. All right, here we go. Uh, through, you, <laughs> through you, Madam President, I'd like to make the motion that we enter, enter into executive session to discuss item 6.1, which is Mayor Bronin with the company resolution to discuss the potential settlement of a workers' compensation matter, Jonathan Kiro versus the city of Hartford. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Are there any discussions? There being none, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilwoman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilwoman Surgeon. Yes. Motion passed. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. For members of the public, we will now be logging off this screen. Uh, but Mr. Clerk, I have made you the host. Thank you. Um, and so we will be back shortly after we come Council out. Council President, I need like four minutes before I get back on, okay? That's fine. That's fine. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, there he is. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Uh, welcome back, everyone. And uh, we are just coming out of executive session. And without further ado, Councilman uh, Clark, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we come out of executive session. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mistum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Councilman Sanchez? Yes. Councilman Surgeon? Yes. Motion passed. 
Thank you, Mr. Clerk. Mr. Majority Leader, you have the floor. Thank you, Madam President. Through you, I'd like to make the motion that we take action <clears throat> on the executive session item 6.1, which is Mayor Brunner with the company resolution to discuss the, uh, the potential settlement of a workers' compensation matter. Second. Motion has been made and properly second. Um, Mr. Clerk, could you please call the roll? Councilman Clark. Yes. Councilman Gale. Yes. Councilman Hercules. Yes. Councilman LeBron. Yes. Councilman Mitchum. Yes. Councilman Rosado. Yes. Councilman Rossetti. Yes. Councilman Sanchez. Yes. Councilman Surgeon. Yes. Motion pass. Thank you, Mr. Clerk. And that concludes our uh, business uh, for this evening. I just want to encourage my council colleagues um, and to inform them that I will be going back um, to uh, council chambers and will be exercising more, more than, than usual the, uh, the hybrid system. Um, but encourage all of you to join me uh, on the dais. And I, I do understand that you know, some of us might have some health concerns or, or health issues. Um, or an, an event in the event, God forbid, that we get COVID, that that some council members will be using um, the hybrid mode. Um, so, with that said, everyone have a nice evening. Yes, Councilman Clark. Uh, through you, Madam President, I just would like to um, uh, indicate that the uh, settlement amount, just for the record, uh, and correct me if I'm wrong, I believe that the uh, settlement settlement amount that we discussed was uh, one hundred and sixty thousand dollars over uh, to be paid out over a span of uh, two fiscal periods. Yes. Split. Yes. Right. We, need the, we need the record to reflect that. Is just, that right? yes. just want the record to reflect that. Mr. Okay. Clark. Yes, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay, without Councilman Gale. And just, just point of information yeah. for everybody, the, the fifth booster, the fifth shot is out. <laughs> Uh, so uh, before that next live meeting that we're going to have September 26th, you can go get your uh, your booster shot. Uh, CVS has them now. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Have a, a good evening. Good night. Good night.